Okay. Good morning, ladies. Actually, yeah, it's still morning. So we're going to talk about the first article I have here. Um, I'm going to just read excerpts out of some of these. Uh, is what is the best activated charcoal? Hardwood or coconut? Now, if you were going to go, I went down the other day to um, Natural Grocers to see what they had for activated charcoal. The only activated charcoal I could find at Natural Grocers was coconut. Okay, that's it. That's all I could find. Um, so you may be wondering, what is the best kind of activated charcoal to get? And you're not alone. It's a popular question, and the answer is a little discussed. But the material used to make supplemental charcoal actually does make a health difference. Spoiler, spoiler alert. In this article, we'll talk about why hardwood activated charcoal is best. Additionally, hardwood activated charcoal is harder to find. So I'll share with you the product I use and, and stuff like that. So we go into that. Um, so what is activated charcoal? One me uh, medical source shares, making activated charcoal involves heating carbon-rich materials such as wood, peat, coconut shells, or sawdust to very high temperatures. This activation process strips the charcoal of previously absorbed uh, molecules and frees up bonding sites again. This process also reduces the size of the pores in the charcoal and makes more holes in each molecule, increasing its overall surface size. As a result, one teaspoon of activated charcoal has about the same surface area as a football field. That was just amazing. I was shocked. Activated charcoal may be taken even daily to absorb heavy metals, reduce intestinal gas, improve kidney health. That's one I did not know about. Link to invisible toxins found in bile to relieve IBS and IBD symptoms. Activated charcoal or AC can be taken in acute situations to absorb most poisons or feel or, or meet first aid needs topically. It can do a lot of things. It may also be used daily in personal care routines for dental and oral health as deodorant, for water filtration, and for skin care. Commercial, commercially, AC is used intentionally um, no, not intentional. Internationally, to clean up hazardous sites and clean water. Um, charcoal, charcoal's particle size is determined by its source, and that is what's key. As we discuss which activated charcoal is best, it's to it's important to note that different sources of charcoal have different sizes of particles. Particle size determines the best role of the charcoal. Hardwood charcoal's finer particle allows faster absorption of toxins and absorption of more toxins from the human body. So, why is hardwood charcoal the best? As one study says, several charcoal uh, forms exist, including coconut shell charcoal, barbecue charcoal, activated bamboo charcoal, activated charcoal, and wood charcoal. Um, both this study and most of the others done on activated charcoal over the last several decades have been done on hardwood activated charcoal, or more recently, wood charcoal. The study goes on to tell us that AC is a fine black powder made by heating charcoal at a high temperature. The heating process to form AC increases the surface area by um, reducing the pore size, in, uh, resulting in a higher number of pores than the other forms of charcoal. While wood charcoal is showing itself to have more promise in agricultural re regions, no, not wood. What's the W one? What's the W one? Uh, yeah, that is wood charcoal. It's showing itself to have more promise in agricultural arenas. AC still wins out 
over the other forms because of that higher number of pores. Okay, hardwood activated charcoal has more pores and the pores are also larger. Whereas coconut shell charcoals, small particle size, can hold liquid and vapor well. It cannot hold as many or certain kinds of larger solid toxins found in our GI tracts. So it can do certain things, but it can't do as much as the hardwood. Um, the larger surface area in powdered activated carbon makes it the best for the absorption of impurities that have a bigger molecule size, like color in food um, is a larger molecule size. Um, that's, that's one example. Hardwood charcoal is superior because it is more ex effective at detoxifying what humans contend with, both in and on our bodies. Human toxins and impurities are absorbed much better by hardwood charcoal than by coconut shell. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, um, you want a good food grade activated charcoal that is from hard hardwoods. Um, and she goes in to explain what the one is she has here. And I'm not going to worry about it right now. Who is she? This is um, Megan Stevens. She's got a site called Eat Beautiful. And I've been following her for a few years now. And she's, she's really got some good articles out there, very insightful. Um, What's your last name? Um, Stevens, S T E V E N S. Megan. If you want capsules, you can make your own with a little toolkit, and I've seen how to do it. It's not that hard, it's just messy. Um, but you can drink it in water. I do it all the time in water. It's, it's really easy to do. Um, uh, it is, uh, activated charcoal has no taste. So it's just messy. It looks awful and it's messy, but it has no taste and you can down it really easy. Um, So she goes into um, dosing. Um, there, it, you only need like a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon a day or whatever is all you need. Um, okay, so then she goes into why coconut charcoal is not as good. Um, first, I want to give full credit to her doctor uh, for his, uh, his allergy insight and the link that she's been providing him anyway. Coconut-based products are now almost as common in the supermarket and food industry as soy and corn. Not surprisingly, and perhaps as a um, direct result, co coconut allergies are on the rise significantly so. Even coconut filters in reverse osmosis water filters cause allergic react reactions. Coconut is not as gentle and safe as we think. Taking coconut-based AC um, daily may be inviting a new allerg uh, allergic reaction. Certainly, it is not as safe a route to go. Um, also, coconut itself is high in copper, which is a heavy metal. Um, so coconut as a food is also something to um, reconsider in a quantity or regular regularity as well. Moderation is key. Um, but with toxicity, avoidance can be better. Can I ask um, a question? What? Can I ask a question? Uh -huh. What does it do? We're getting there. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. oh, there was two questions. I'll think of it again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Co coconut? I um, mean, not coconut. Activated charcoal is one of the reasons it's good to have in your medicine cabinet. If you get the flu, or you have food poisoning, or you get into something like that, um, you can take that and it'll help, it'll grab onto those toxins and pull them right out of your system. Yes? I was a nurse, and we used to use charcoal for overdoses, and we'd yeah. do lavages with flesh, that put a tube 
flush charcoals on there. And yeah, yeah. Was, it was, um, yeah. Was kind of, Vets use them a good. lot. Use them a lot for uh, when the dogs get dogs or cats get into something they shouldn't get into. It um, like chocolate. Yeah. They get into chocolate. It can pull that and pull That's it out of their system because you know, that is a toxin to them. Um, so. She goes into talking about coconut filters that they have out there for water filters. Interestingly, coconut shell carbon filters are not in reverse osmosis water filters to filter out contaminants. In fact, they are there to remove the residual taste that occurs from carbon filtering and also to uh, add back in a bit of sweetness to the water that was lost during the reverse osmosis process. Um, I thought that was interesting because I thought that was supposed to be cleaning it, but it mm -hmm. doesn't. So coconut charcoal, which is almost all of the activated charcoal you will find out there. Like I said, when I went to the health food store, that's the only thing they had out there was the coconut. Um, is not as effective as the hardwood for removing internal toxins, okay? When you want to get it out of there. Um, and firstly, it's because of the pore size is smaller. In contrast, it is used in water filtration, large treatment facilities to clean up big environmental messes like industrial spills uh, for mercury removal and um, different solvent recovery procedures. It's good at those things, okay? It is often used as the first sweep. They'll take it through, get a good portion of the stuff through, and then they'll come through with other things to remove the rest of it. Um, but for finer applications um, to zero or non-detected contamination, it's not effective for that. It's like good first sweep, get it out. Another function of AC from coconut shells is to clean the air. It's very good at cleaning the air. Activated charcoal produced from coconut shells is known for its micropore structures, which works well for small air or gas molecules. As a result, um, coconut carbon also works well for um, dechlorinization. It can work with that. Um, okay. So, some cautions with activated charcoal. Don't breathe it in. Remember, it's a fine powder, and we don't want any fine powder in our lungs. Even good and helpful products, just don't do it. Second, it stains. Be careful not to get it on clothing. Wear an apron or stand back, especially if you're going to try filling capsules where you're doing a whole bunch, it's going to be messy. Wear an apron. Um, it can render some medications ineffective, including birth control pills, and antidepressants. So it's a good thing to run it by your doctor. Okay, that's that one. After she wrote that article, she had people writing and saying, can I take it with my supplements or is it gonna take my supplements right out of my system? So she wrote another article on that. So I'm gonna read you some of this. The surprising answer is, while most sources say just Look at the one study that misled us and the multiple pubmed studies that show us that activated charcoal does not deplete supplemental nutri uh, nutrients in the human body when taken at the same time as those supplements. So activated charcoal also does not deplete nutrients from the meat. So you can't take it with your meals. Um, so that's some great news and it's it freezes up.
previous studies on animals that activated charcoal improves animal health and nutrient uptake. So, so these studies here, just, just briefly. Um, study one activated charcoal used with fish to improve uh, nutrition and fish health. Mm -hmm. um, it's very good with that. Uh, it refers to the charcoal char. It, in, uh, it concludes existing research shows that that it, uh, products can improve fish health, growth, nutrient uptake, and removing pollutants from fish in aquaculture. And then study two: charcoal does not absorb certain minerals at all. Um, it is important to note that activated charcoal does not effectively absorb alcohol, metals such as iron and lithium, electrolytes such as magnesium, potassium, or sodium, and acids or alkalis due to the polarity of these substances. So you can take it with your minerals like magnesium and potassium. So three activated charcoal will not absorb minerals in a human um, there was a study um, that tried to use charcoal to absorb heavy metals and minerals from the water, uh, and they found that um, they had to do some very specific things in order to get it to absorb it. One was high temperature and then some other things, and time. It needed two hours and high temperature. Um, to, and high dose, high dose, a lot of time, and high temperature in order to get it to absorb some of these cells. Um, um, it balances minerals when they are too high, um, which is interesting because it doesn't find certain things. But high levels of phosphorus in the blood are a common problem of chronic kidney disease. Um, and they did an eight week study in Iraq um, and show that the phosphorus levels improved with oral administration of activated charcoal. So the five was with the cows Yeah. So um, there's been multiple animal studies that show improved health when it's taken. 
Um, so, um, anyway, let's see. Um, in the 112 studies mentioned above, farmers gave their cows activated control. Reduce 
bile, which holds the toxins, and the gallbladder to excrete bile into the GI tract. And so that's how it helps do that. Um, and then it just washes them right on the um, charcoal. So that was the That would happen otherwise. 
Congress. Um, they are already being removed. So the same is true of lesser government toxins, such as the possibility of, let's say, an excess vitamin A that you have more than your body can use. A myriad of toxins are removed from the body, cleansing the liver, reducing the body's toxic load, and reducing the symptoms. This is benefit, she says, I personally experienced.
Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I don't know much about that. Thank you for this.